Okay, I get tired a lot of times of seeing students just, you know, wasting time sketching some of these angles. Guys, if you have 14 pi over 3, if you want to waste time, you're going to sketch 14 pi over 3. We know, all right, that this is in the positive direction, so it's going to go that way. We know that halfway around the circle is pi, that's 3 over 3. So then they say, hey, this is 3 pi, that's 6 pi, 9 pi, 12 pi, and then 13, 14, right? Okay, very good job. Then you still need to go ahead and determine that point. It's also very simple, guys. You can even get to this stuff doing, doing stuff in your head. You can also just find the smallest positive coterminal angle. That's going to help you determine the angle as well. So remember, by, at, by finding the smallest coterminal angle, we can just add and subtract 2 pi. Well, I'm not going to want to add 2 pi. That's not going to give me any angle that's smaller. So I'm going to have to subtract 2 pi. Now remember, 2 pi in this case is the same thing as 6 pi over 3. So that's going to be used because my point is has a denominator 3. So I'll subtract 6 pi over 3. And when I do that, I still have 8 pi over 3. So I can continue. So I'll subtract 6 pi over 3 again. And therefore, that's going to leave me with the final coterminal angle, which is 2 pi over 3. So instead of going over 1 third, I've now gone over 2 thirds. So therefore, this point, which is right here, is a direct reflection of that point. Now that point is 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So if I take this point and reflect it over the x-axis, what is going to be different? Well, now my x value is going to be negative. So the point at t equals 2 pi over 3, or 14 pi over 3, is going to be negative 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use coterminal, or period as an 8, to be able to evaluate or find the point for your given angle. Thanks.